session is about is celebrating what Seaco Schools offers and really looking at how working at borough level, um, all participants and all schools and every school that finds itself within the eco school family and network is in fact making a huge difference. And then what we ask them to do is carry out an environmental review of our 10 eco schools topics, all of which are intrinsically linked to carbon reduction within your school. We've installed solar panels, big investment, but down the line, we will, it will start to pay for itself. It will, it will cancel out the installation costs at a certain point in the, uh, the renewable energy savings that we're making in terms of costs. Um, but it's a big outlay in the first place. So that's an example of really a real investor save uh, approach. Councils need to not only get behind the eco schools agenda, but they also need to support schools in becoming sustainable in procurement. One to five, and I often describe um, a school as being like a small city facing very similar challenges just in a more compact area and it's really important to me to learn from schools and how schools are managing um, their carbon emissions because that gives us ideas as a city to learn how to manage our own and it's often children and young people who could talk most eloquently about the challenges their school faces. And here you can see as we've moved forward over recent years, um, the number of schools we've been able not only to encourage to join the programme, but then to move on to that um, mark of quality, that green flag um, that um, really supports schools, not only in terms of their environmental credentials, but I think it, it really helps um, to, raise the, um, to raise the bar in terms of how schools feel, who they are, and to make schools uh, much better places to be in, to work in, and to succeed in. So, um, so one of the areas that I've mentioned is around our capital programme, and recently we've received just uh, just over twenty four million pounds of funding to deliver carbon reduction in our schools. So things like solar panels, LEDs, air source heat pumps. We've increase the number of our schools and trusts that are declaring climate emergencies because we find by doing that not only is it supporting the eco school program but it raises that profile with governors with senior leadership in schools we've got over 75 teachers and governors in leicester who are now carbon literacy trained which is over 50 schools so that's about half our school daily funded project work that we're doing at the moment we have a target of 2,000 tons of carbon to be saved through our schools program which is within our local authority schools specifically of around 2,000 tons so it's very much about monitoring uh, the impact that we do, not only through uh, changes in behaviour and attitudes, but actual real sort of carbon savings that we're using um, to monitor. Just thinking about 39% of young people actively considering not having children, the implications of that for society are colossal. And if you've got that going on in classes up and down the country, that's going to come out somewhere and somehow, not necessarily in a positive way. Addressing it, therefore, has to be serious and comprehensive in schools and in society at large. Very important to lead from the top. Uh, heads are absolutely crucial to drive it. Um, dedicated member of staff with a coordinating role, recognised in the senior management structure with the time and the standing to do the job. Students mobilised with eco clubs and green reps and networks and to be very sensitive to student concerns, going back to that anxiety uh, report, especially when it's not explicitly expressed, because we're not just educating in a passive sense, but we're mobilising towards collective solutions, both for our schools and society. That's it. If people aren't aware, we've launched a brand new um, online Eco Schools Green Flag application form this year that schools and teachers can fill in at any point over the course of the school year. And what's fantastic is we're going to be able to capture some amazing data um, from all our schools that we can break down either by your school level and then you can look at your how your school compares to a national average by local authority as well. So we can look how different local authorities are comparing this to with their green flag stats. From my presentation, understanding the eco schools um, really uh, do provide huge value, um, not only to the children in those schools, but to the school management, the whole school community, and in fact, to the city of Leicester.